Although the ribbons were introduced in Excel 2007, a major change to the interface in Excel 2010 is the addition of the file menu. This new file menu replaces what was the office button and brings in a lot more usability. So from within any Excel file, if we choose the file menu, you'll see that we have down the left some quick access to save, save as, open and close, pretty common commands, info that allows you to access the permissions for this particular workbook, pair the document for sharing, so this will look at the properties and check whether you've left the author's name and things like that, and it will allow you to manage different versions of the same file. It will also allow you to access the properties for this particular file very quickly, which was usually quite difficult in previous versions, and related information such as the date and time this file was last modified, when it was actually created, when it was last printed. So you can see this has actually never been printed. The author, which is the training person who's logged in, and it was last modified by training, and any related documents. We then have an option for new, we'll leave the recent for a second, where you can create new files, new blank workbook, a recently used template, sample templates, your templates, or new from an existing file, or you can access many Excel templates from office.com and you can see they're broken down into categories, budgets, calendars, faxes, forms, gift certificates, etc, etc. And you'll be able to choose one of those and create, but we'll see more about templates in the template lesson. We can use print from our new file menu and you'll find that it's sort of a combination of print preview, page setup and print because we can print preview the file on the right here. We can choose our printer. And then we can choose what we'd like to print. We've got active sheets, number of pages. Are we printing one sided? Are we collating? Are we changing the page orientation? Are we changing the page size? Are we changing the margins? Are we going to scale to fit on a particular page? So all of that can be accessed directly from the new file print option rather than going to what was used to be file and page setup. And I can see the results straight away on the right in the print preview. We have an option to share which allows you to then send your file via email as an attachment or as a PDF. Built-in functionality for creating PDFs is in 2010. We can send it as an XPS file or we can send it as an internet fax. Obviously you would need to have an internet fax provider to do that. We can save to SkyDrive, which is the Microsoft Office apps, or we can save to a SharePoint server. We can change the file type and we have help which allows you to access Microsoft Help Online or contact Microsoft if you want to tell them something. And then options. Now, unlike the one, two, three, four, five, six items down this left hand side, which all sort of pop out on the right. So share pops out on the right, print pops out on the right, new pops out on the right, recent pops out on the right, and info pops out on the right. Options actually opens a separate dialog box and we'll investigate all the options available in here in a future lesson. That's okay. There are two other options on this file menu. There is exit, should you wish to leave Excel, and there is recent. Now the recently used file list has been massively improved in this particular version of Excel to allow you to see a lot more recently used files. There's quite a few files here, that's not limited, that just keeps on going. It also allows you to set up a quickly access. So if I go down here and say quickly access this number of recent workbooks, and it defaults to four, you notice the four most recent files appear here. And I can either reduce that number, and you'll see it drops down, or increase that number. So because they appear on the actual file menu itself, that saves me coming down to recent and finding them in the list. They are the four most recent ones. Now you might or might not like that facility, but you can then turn it off. And you'll still see them in this list. Now if there are files that you use regularly, you can pin them. So I have a file up here that is pinned. There's a little pin in there. And I might choose this sample data file and choose to pin that. And you see how that jumps into the top half. It's divided from the most recently used files by a horizontal dotted line, and that file is now pinned. And I can unpin it at any stage. So files you use regularly, you might wish to pin that, you might wish to pin that, you might wish to pin that. They are then retained in this pin section, and regardless of how recently you use them, they will stay there. So although it says recent, items in the pin section don't have to be that recently used. They will stay in the pin section until you unpin them by effectively clicking the pin. And then the recently used list is much longer than it's ever been in any previous version of Excel. So the recently used file options are massively improved really on any previous version. And other items on the file menu, the info section we've just been through, the new section, 
print section, the share section, and the help section, as well as the quick icons for save, save as, open, and close.